to Baby Cat 85 Comedy King. Baby Cat 85 Comedy Queen. He said, I was at Lewis Burger in Lancaster and BJ cussed out the waitress. BJ cussed the waitress out bad. I was sitting back like, wow, bro don't play about his steak in <laughs> What's happening? This is the Tap In Podcast. Yeah, baby. This is the Tap In Podcast. We back in here for another episode of Tapping Into the Comments Part 2. Okay? And like I said before, the comments is the best place on YouTube. Okay? This is where I get to enjoy y'all. Y'all commentary. This is where I get my entertainment from is the comment section. So, if you haven't already, on the video that you like, leave a comment on all the videos, like, and subscribe to the channel. That way you know when I'm putting up videos, okay? You can turn your notifications on so you'll get notified any other videos we're putting on because we're doing this, tapping into the comments, all right? So, make sure you tap into the comments. All right, so, this week... We doing my brother, BJ the Bounty Hunter. BJ the Bounty Hunter. There was a bunch of comments on BJ the Bounty Hunter, okay? So, we're going to go through these comments. Y'all are fucking nuts in the comments, okay? Uh, Let me see. Said 713 ask, he going to L.A. soon. How do I get clearance permission? Question mark. So said, if you not a rapper or if you don't come go out there, oh, no, you gangster shit, I think you good, bro. You don't got to worry about going to L.A. You don't need to, you don't need to check in with nobody. Go there, have a good time, enjoy the weather, okay? So you don't need to check in with nobody, all right? Um, let me see. This is from Mikey Sting. He said, there's too much opportunity in and out of the hood for any youngster to be killing over gang banging. dot, dot, dot. Gang banging should be about community and culture, not violence and crime. I agree with that. And I agree with that. I'm going to just say that, Mikey Sting. I agree with that. It should be about community, culture, not in violence and crime. I, I agree with that. The problem is it's not gang banging. I feel like it's economics. Anytime you put people in a in an area with limited resources, no matter who they are, what they are, what are they going through, if you have limited resources and you have a maximum amount of people in that section, it's always going to be violence and crime. I don't think the gang banger or the gang banging has anything to do with that. I think it's the lack of resources because there's a hood in every state. There's a hood in every city. So it's not just L.A. or gangbanging. It's all across the country, all across the world, where there are limited resources in those areas. It's always going to be a high crime area, high violence area. So shout out to you, Mikey Sting. Uh, Let's see another one. This one was about the BJ Bounty Hunter. So, on the video, it was titled, Dante Explains explains to OG Bounty Hunter BJ how Suge Knight and 6ix9ine are the same. Okay? Let me explain what I was trying to say. What I was saying was, what they did was the exact same. Not their character, not who they are as a person, not what they did afterwards. What they did was the same, right? 
Suge Knight was trying to get into the music business through bodyguarding and taking care of people, making connections. Once he was able to, he went and grabbed gangbangers and put them around him to get his get his notoriety up, get his company up, and make it bigger. Six Nine was trying to get in the music business, and he seen the opportunity to put gangbangers around him, or he put gangbangers around him to blow him up, or he allowed gangbangers to be around him to blow him up to get him to a bigger point. That's all I was making the the similarities of Suge Knight and Six Nine. Not 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 the part that Six Nine told Suge told. No, not that part at all. Suge is doing time for something else that he couldn't snitch on nobody on. She was on camera and he was the one that did it. So there's no I'm not saying that. Everybody know Six Nine what he did is snitching. That part I'm not I'm not comparing that. I'm saying what they did in the music business, okay? In the music business, they both put gangbangers around them to blow themselves up. Now, Harvey Belvin said they both are the same because they both told. Now, Henry, Henry, Harvey, you're wrong. Or I don't know if you're wrong, but I didn't hear anything about Suge telling on anybody. So that part. Only difference is Suge didn't tell the truth, and he only told on people he was mad at. Still makes him a snitch, even if he didn't tell to the cops. Telling to TMZ and the media is still the same as telling homie. I don't know about that. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know about that. Um, I don't know about that, Harvey. I don't know who Suge told on or who he did tell on. I, I have no idea. Um, here's another one from Murder Rich Blood. It's hard not to like Cap. Don't know him. He seems solid. D. D solid die. D. Die. BJ is solid. I appreciate him from coming on the show. Um, that was all love. Uh, it, it was... Um, some good shit that came out of that. You know what I mean? Some good shit. The video, um, this was for um, OG, no, J. Rich. It says the video is called My 6-4. Cappuccino is standing next to Bum B when he first starts uh, rapping. So, yeah, the 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 video um, that BJ Bounty Hunter was referencing in the video where he's talking about where um, we had to save Bun B and them, the name of the video is called My Six Four. I think it's by Mike Jones featuring Snoop Dogg and, and Bun B. So it's called My Six Four on YouTube. Go check it out. It was a cool video for for um, for Mike Jones. You know what I mean? I think it was a cool video for Mike Jones back then. Yeah, yeah, it was it was it was cool. Um. Let me see what else we got. Uh, John J, just thank you for speaking and conducting yourself like a real OG. Respect, unlike Whack One Hundred. Yeah, man, I don't know, I don't know what uh what that's about, but shout out to uh shout out to BJ. All right, now this one it was crazy, cause this came from somebody. Mike Jones, I don't know if it's the Mike Jones that we were talking about, but he says, this is the same man who lied and said he saved Lil Wayne in California from Crips in 1992 when Wayne was 10 years old. I don't know if that's the same Mike Jones, but shout out to you, Mike Jones, uh, for leaving the comment. But I think BJ cleared that up when he said he misspoke you know what I mean? And it wasn't 1992. It was probably like 2002. You know what I mean? But he, he cleared it up and said he misspoke on the dates and times. Like, we all do that. You know what I mean? When you do a lot of interviews, you do a lot of talking and you front of the camera. Understandable. He was talking about, you know what I mean? It wasn't 1992. He, If you Google it, 
you'll see BJ's whole explanation from it. So, so yeah. All right. All right. Shout out to Baby Cat 85 Comedy King. Baby Cat 85 Comedy Queen. He said, I was at Lewis Burger in Lancaster and BJ cussed out the waitress. BJ cussed the waitress out bad. I was sitting back like, wow, bro don't play about his steak and eggs. <laughs> Shout out to Baby Cat 85 Comedy King, man. Yo, BJ do not play about the steak and eggs, man. Get his food right. Yeah. Yo, man, this is this has been tapping into the comments, man. Make sure y'all leave a comment. We may be able to get to your comment and read it back, uh, get a reaction. So, man, man. <laughs> tap into the comments, man. Make sure you like. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Um, turn on your notifications, and we appreciate you. All the merch is available on tapinpodcast.com. Tap in podcast.com make sure y'all go grab y'all's hoodie a sweater or something yo thank y'all for tapping in holla thank you for tapping in with us in order to see more clips like this check out this video here or check out this one here